Hey everyone, in this video we would like to discuss how to do the lot flow analysis inside the ETAB program. So first we have our ETAB program opened. First we will click on file, new project, then type the name of any project. Let's assume for example load flow. Okay, and you can choose the unit system either English or metric for me I will choose metric then click on OK then OK then uh, maximize the edit mode window okay then uh, we would like to do a simple line diagram simple single line diagram representing a power grid two bus bars one transformer and one induction motor so first we need the power grid going here to the symbols for the ec systems you will find here the power grid is this one okay power grid click on it and go to anywhere here like this and click okay so we have here our power grid now we need bus power bus power one here connected between this one and this one between the power grid and the bus power so the power grid is supplying power to this bus power. Now we need a two winding transformer. Okay, like this. Then we need another bus power. Then we need our load, which is an induction uh, motor here. Induction machine. Okay, like this. So we would like to zoom in like this. Zoom in. Okay, we zoomed a little bit more. Okay, like this. Okay, now what is the next step? The next step we would like to connect this one transformer to bus power, transformer to the other bus power, the induction machine to the bus power, like this. Okay. So we have our power grid supplying power to a bus power. Then this bus power is connected to a transformer, a step down transformer, which is providing power to our uh, induction motor. So let's uh, go step by step. The first thing we will do is the transformer. Double click on the transformer. Then you'll find here the data for the transformer. First, we will go to the rating of the transformer. Now you will have the uh, turn is ratio or not the turn is ratio, the voltage of the primary and the voltage of the secondary. So the primary voltage is 13.8. This is of course an assumption. And secondary will be 4.16. Okay. So it is a step down transformer from 13.8 to 4.16 kilo volt. Okay. So the 14.6 kilovolt is the power or is the voltage which is going to be provided to the induction machine. The power rating, I assume that our uh, transformer is at 10 megavolt ampere. Okay, and I assume that the D rated value is the same, 10 megavolt ampere, or you can, of course, for the liquid oil or the oil transformer, we will take uh, the loading of this transformer will be 80%. Okay, so we can say the D rated value will be 8 megavolt ampere. And for dry transformers, it will be 90%. So we, the efficiency, of course, is 90%. So we can say the D rated value will be 9 megavolt ampere. Okay, according to the data of the transformer itself. You can see here also the in installation, the altitude at which the transformer exists, the ambient temperature at which the transformer exists, the temperature, the allowable temperature rise, depending or on the class. You can choose a liquid transformer or a dry transformer. You can also choose here the type of the uh, liquid inside the transformer. You can find here the uh, type of the cooling system. Is it a forced air or the air natural, air forced? 
uh, oil natural, water natural, or whatever it is, according to, of course, the type of the transformer. Okay, go to the impedance part here. You will find this data is important inside the uh, for the voltage drop analysis. Okay, so if you have the value of the percentage Z, the X over R ratio, all of this, then put it manually. If you don't know it, we can simply click on typical Z and X over R. So by clicking on this, the program itself will give us a typical data from the library of the transformer. So you find that it gives us uh, values according to the library of the uh, ETAB program. You can also see here the tab. If you have a tabbing from percentage tabbing for primary or secondary, you can also edit all of this. Okay. Now, after doing all of this, click on OK. So the primary was 13.8 kilovolt and secondary 4.16 4 kilovolt. And the uh, rating of the transformer 10 megavolt ampere. You will find that the program automatically made the primary bus voltage, the bus, uh, the voltage of the first bus 13.8 and the voltage of second bus 4.16 since they are connected to the transformer. Okay, now you will find here the power grid. If you double click on it, you will find here the different modes of the power grid swing, voltage control, uh, megavolt control, uh, power factor control, whatever it is. And you can find here the service, it is on or off, in or out. The grid is operating or not operating. You're going here to the rating, you'll find that the rating here, the rated kilovolt, the voltage at which is providing, okay, which is 13.8, the similar to the pass bar, similar to the primary of the transformer. And you can choose either to have a balanced or unbalanced uh, grid. Now going to the short circuit, you can find here the grounding method. Is it a star grounded um, grid or it is a delta? Okay, not grounded. Okay, and you can find here the short circuit rating of the transformer. You can put here the values for and X over R and kilo ampere second. All of these values are depending on the grid itself. We don't know all of these values, so we can neglect them for now. Okay, all what's important for us is that we have a transformer and we have here our load and the power absorbed will come from the grid. Okay, now double click on the induction motor. In the induction motor, you will find here that in the nameplate, you will find here the rating of the transformer uh, of the induction machine. Okay, so in kilowatt or in kilovolt ampere full load current, full load ampere current, uh, kilovolt, uh, power factor, uh, full load of course, the uh, percentage of the, uh, from the full load value, 100% or 75% or 50, and the corresponding values of power factor and efficiency. Okay, and here this is a no load condition, power factor and efficiency. And you can find here the speed, the RPM, 1500 the speed of the induction machine number of poles which is four rpm and slip this is the uh, no load speed or the uh, synchronous speed to be more specific the ns or the synchronous speed and here this is the uh, uh, full load speed or nr okay at the slip of 0.05 this is the values according to of course the type of the induction machine as an example, we will assume that we have a horsepower of 500. So how can we provide a horsepower of 500? Click on the kilowatt, one tick, it will be converted to horsepower. Now type 500 horsepower, like this. You will find that the program automatically from its library provided you with different values for the power factor, efficiency, full load current, the voltage at which is uh, operating according to the NEMA, okay, and the kilovolt ampere, the slip, the RPM, and all of the values. Now we have our machine. Click on OK. 
now we have all of the elements completed now what is the next step we would like to do the load flow inside the eta program so click on this one load flow analysis one tick and you'll see here bq which is a run load flow click on it type the name of the output file whatever it is click on ok and you'll find here the uh, final values okay let's move this 100 percent like this so we'll find here this is the uh, power the active power and this is the reactive power p and q so the input power the power absorbed from the grid is 400 plus 171j now going to the transformer this 400 plus j 171 uh, part of it is lost now we will find here that the power will be 400 plus j 169 this is the power which is or the s kilovolt ampere which is entering our motor this motor will finally provide us with a 500 horsepower as an output power okay the output mechanical power so this was a simple example on uh, how to use the load flow analysis inside the ETAB program.